What's bracken guys? Welcome to episode 1 of my new Road to Division 1 series with the United States Men's National Team. So first, we're actually not going to be having the full squad, of course. Basically going to be building my way up to the squad. Don't really have any set rules or anything, but along the way I'll be kind of you know, talking about different players, as we'll see here. I'm starting out with a 4-2-3-1 formation. Let's talk about Quincy Ameriqua. Definitely don't think he's anywhere near the United States Men's National Team radar, but uh, he has some nice physical stats. He's definitely a hard-working player can really uh, do a job at striker, especially with his pace and physicality. Tommy Thompson definitely has a lot of potential. He's had a lot of like gifts and all that, so just some of his skills, binds. I mean, he's a very skillful player, very flashy, some great dribbling skills. Definitely recommend you check him out, so he'll be our center attacking mid. His teammate, Shea Celine, has definitely always been a winger that's been kind of close to the national team, but never been able to really break it um, but he has some pace decent crossing abilities playing on his weaker foot side which is going to might be a problem as he's uh, right footed playing on the left and he only has two star weak foot so hopefully he can work out Joe Corona he's always been had a lot of potential he's a very solid technical player but he's never really shined in his chances except for the gold cup in 2013 he thought he was really good then but uh, hopefully he can make his way to the national team as he definitely has a technical ability to help out the squad Moby Okugo definitely think he's going to be close soon um, to at least you know making a January camp CDM 6 foot 77 pace 73 physically he's just really made that change to center defensive mid recently in the last season after playing center back the most of the time and Perry Kitchen actually just recently got his first cap in January he's definitely been very solid for DC United especially in their uh, good seasons uh, decent CDM you know solid physically and help uh, just shore up the back line uh, sitting in front of them left back Chris Tierney definitely was a bit surprised he didn't make January camp as he's definitely a great left side player very solid all the run he's a tremendous crosser could really help out us possibly um but he might just might be too much of a log jam at left back and right back you know because of the likes of fabian johnson timothy chandler more tommy meyer definitely just a guy we had to get because there were more too many other options definitely don't think he's near on the radar but of course he was he won a uh, he started in a mls cup excuse me with his rookie season was actually to help able to help the team out and win MLS Cup so next to him is Nat Borchers never really able to broke in but he has a tremendous beard actually him and Okugo aren't on their new teams Borchers is on Portland Timbers and Okugo is on Orlando City but Borchers definitely been a solid center back for RSL in his tenure with them solid pace great physically it's very decent very good technically in my opinion Kevin Acosta has recently played with the U20s has actually going to be playing in two U20 World, Cup, World Cups basically he was in the previous one I believe he was like 18 or so um, and he's still eligible for this one so uh, he's definitely be a decent right back for us he has some decent pace and he's kind of moved to center mid recently in real life Tally Hall he's always made January caps and everything uh, made a few appearances here and there solid keeper in MLS good handling and everything but there's some younger guys ahead of him of course Nick Romano is amazing so with that uh, we'll get into the next matches now so let's see. So now, getting into the first matchup, we'll see this team we're facing. A solid diamond formation. You see the BPL. see similar teams like this all the time. Walcott, Sturridge, Costa. Definitely some attacking power up top. So we'll see how we can deal with them. And Sturridge going to play the ball through to Costa. Look at him. He's through on goal. And Tally Hall is going to make a huge save right there. Tremendous stuff from Tally Hall. Of course, showing his worth. And however, you see Costa gets thrown on a through ball. And he's going to finish that. So definitely, you see some of the troubles with this squad. Not that quick in the back line. So we need, may need to look for uh, some help once we have enough coins, you know, to go with Borchers. I think Borchers is pretty solid. We'll see Corona on the wing. He's going to cut back in. Some nice acceleration here. And he's going to finish this. Of course, that short post is so ridiculous. But we'll take it. Corona showing his worth again. Um... Just tremendous the way he cut in was able to have the composure to finish that and really blew by some quick players So you can see that nice little burst he had right there. We'll see however We're gonna come back in the second half now gonna play the ball right here Okugo gonna find the foot of Tommy Thompson to Ameriqua and look at that He's gonna hit it underneath two legs basically I wasn't sure what the hell he was doing with the ball at first I wanted him to just go up to it, hit it first time, but he kind of let it run and he scores a tremendous goal, uh, thankfully, to make up for what I thought was about to be a huge blown chance. As you'll see in the replay now, it's a beautiful goal, the way that went through. 
I mean, two legs tunneled between two guys, both the defender and the goalkeeper. So it's huge to see him coming up big. Tommy Thompson, tremendously in play, see him playing well also. You'll see just the way he kind of stopped and let the ball go around, and then he's going to hit that between the defender as well as the goalkeeper. So great stuff to get the first match of our season start, of course, starting from Division 10. And... You know, it's just a huge win. You see Tally Hall definitely came up big for us. Of course, that one showed that one huge save, which is the most notable save. But uh, some decent coins to start out. And we actually really controlled the game. 61% possession. So you can see uh, effective squad so far. I really like this 4 2 3 one. I definitely think Okugo is very good going forward and helps us out a lot. And is very good defensively. So we see some nice balance in the squad. As Kitchen is also a solid CDM. And we'll see in the second matchup. We're going to be facing... David Luiz uh, in the back. We'll see if he can hold it. If we can get through him, of course, Gotze, Di Maria, Remy, and Costa uh, make up the attacking force behind the squad. We'll see. Good ball played here to Selena. It's going to find Tommy Thompson, his teammate for the San Jose Earthquakes right here. Thompson's going to cut back in. He's going to play the ball here to Selena. He's going to cut back in, be the defender, and beat the keeper. What's a goal as the two Earthquakes teammates link up and are able to score, feed off each other nicely, so it's nice to have some of those hyperlinks. I mean, of course, we have MLS, we have same team, and we have nationality as well. What a finish from the left mid right there. We'll see, of course, they came back firing. We'll see, that was just a bad ball. Costa's going to get through. He looks like he might be able to get that short post finish, but wasn't hit hard enough. Hall comes up a big again. The early now Orlando City goalkeeper, of course, really plied his trade with Houston before. We'll see on the counterattack, just some terrible <laughs> defending on our part. Uh, just trying to track back Costa. And there was some lag that unfortunately hindered us as well. But Costa is going to finish that to tie things up. So definitely unfortunate there. Because I really thought we were doing well in this game so far. Of course, against such a powerful squad. All you can ask for is to try to keep in the game. Um, you know, once it gets into that bigger moment. So what a what a ball from Tommy Thompson. Beautiful play. And Maricol is going to play Corona through. Bad touch off his back heel. But he's going to finish again. Uh, <laughs> Be a little bit of luck there, but I thought we should have played into Tommy Thompson's center, but either way it worked out um, as the ball hit off of Corona's heel is going to fall in front of him for the finish. Some A bad touch from Kellen Acosta is going to lead to this goal, unfortunately, uh, from Luik Remy. Of course, cannot give the ball away like that. Some bad stuff for me. Probably should have hit the shield button to uh, hold the defender off, but um, fortunately, of course, we're still playing well against this tough team, so hopefully, you know, we can keep on going, uh, see if we can grab a late winner in this match, and we will do a nice job. Kitchen playing Amer Ameriqual through. Look at him. He's going to use his pace to get down the wing. He's going to cut back, and he's going to cut back out, and he's going to cut in again right here, and he's going to finish that. That just tremendous finish from Ameriqua. Of course, as I said, he's probably nowhere near the national team radar, but he's going to work for us for now with this squad. So uh, he does a great job for us grabbing the win in our second match of the episode against two very good squads. Joe Crona was definitely by far the best player. Him, Salinas, Thompson, and Ameriqua were just tremendous up top. Kitchen really did a good job with uh, setting uh, Ameriqua up for the game winner. So we've just shown some great grit. 62% possession. We're holding onto the ball nicely with this 4 2 3 1 as well. And we grab six points. So hopefully we'll be in Division 9 in the next episode. So with that, guys, I will be rounding out the episode now. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave some suggestions in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys later.